Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Dooda. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for another one of our X Piles um, episodes. So we have been working with the um, <laughs> the ever growing pile that's on my desk. I have to say, the pile is actually getting bigger, which oh, what a nightmare! Basically, what's happening is. You know, as I'm filming this, I'm then filming other things in between. And unfortunately, I started this weeks ago. So I've now filmed two episodes. Several weeks have gone by. I've filmed all sorts of other videos in the meantime. So, of course, now the pile has kind of, like, accumulated, actually, even more than it had in the first place. So, yes, I just want to kind of come along and, um, well, just get the pile to go down a little bit would be a really good idea. So what I thought we could do is I'm just going to grab in a lot of the quite large pieces that are laying around on, you know, on the desk because, um, yeah, I just feel like I need to, I need to get rid of some, you know, some of the bits. So I've just got these here. Now it's got to be said, I mean, they're not really kind of like, you know, the pit, the bits that I would put together ordinarily, but you know i'm going to just put them together regardless if that makes sense um and yeah what i thought we'd do is actually just put them together in a kind of whole page collage masterboard now again i wouldn't normally use um you know flimsy kind of copy paper for the whole page collage masterboards i would generally use much thicker papers but i'm going to try it like this just because you know i'm keen to get some of these bits off of my desk so you know depending how it turns out we can obviously then reinforce it on the back you know and make bits of ephemera from it and things like that but the first thing obviously to do is actually get some of the pieces you know put down into some sort of kind of masterboard so just going to cut the borders off of here I mean it probably doesn't really even matter to be honest because I can probably hide them anyway as we put the bits together so yeah I'll just kind of do it like that. Um, this is some of that tissue paper that my daughter did the um, tutorial on. So again, just going to take this down. Love this um, top piece of this. So we might kind of stick this over the top of something, you know, afterwards. So just going to take this down here. Okay. So this is, um, yeah, it was the kitchen towel and it's been glued onto uh, sheet music. So then I've got this, which is part of the, uh, what do you call this, Great Expectations kit. Now, I would probably prefer not to have her, it's got to be said, um, just because I feel like she's not really going to be you know, a great kind of shape for a collage masterboard, if that makes sense. So I'm going to kind of, yeah, try and kind of cover her up. I'm going to get rid of that bit altogether. So we'll just see, you know, just see how we get on. Now this bit's quite a thick piece, so this might not be great. So perhaps I will not include that. Um, what else have I got here? I'm just kind of pulling in bits that are thin, you know, so that we've got hopefully similar thickness of papers to use so I've got here some book page so yeah let's take some of that as well and we can just cut that down okay I mean really I'm just using these bits because I'm thinking you know this is quite a quick way to get rid of quite a lot of you know sheets of paper if you see what I mean now this obviously I've printed onto some book page it's a printable um again I did it ages ago with you know different plans for it didn't really get around to it so yeah it's been laying around ever since um so I'm going to try and incorporate this into the masterboard as well so again just cut this down I will drink my tea in a moment and then obviously we'll have more room so, yeah, I haven't, you know, I'm not kind of oblivious to the fact that that's taken up room on the desk. I do realise it is, so I do apologise for that. Uh, right, I've got a couple of my header pieces here. So, again, just going to take those down as well. Like that. Oh, that one's got 
Oh no, that's fine. Okay, like that. So I'm filming this, I do apologise for the lighting. I'm filming this, it's still dark. I've been up since 3.30 this morning. Um, just, yeah, I'm not sleeping all that brilliantly lately. So I've been to the gym and everything. And um, yeah, I thought, well, I'm going to come home and just get straight on with, you know, working. So I do apologise and I hope that the lighting's okay. I mean, obviously the light's on. So I'm hoping that actually for you guys, it's not really any different to during the day when the light's on. Oops. You know, I hope it's not kind of really dismal. It's always hard to say, and I've never filmed before in the dark, so I don't know whether this is going to be, you know, different appearance or not. Right, okay, so I've cut out loads of bits now, so just going to quickly have a sip of that tea. Oh, just spotted I've got some other piece. So I might just take some of this as well. Again, this was from The Great Expectations when I was kind of creating it. Um, you know, when you're creating the digis, you know, you have to print them off so many times to try and get it, you know, how you want it. And, um, yeah, you end up with obviously a lot of wastage, you know, which, yeah, sometimes that's okay and sometimes obviously not okay, but you do end up with with wastage so right I'm thinking maybe yeah maybe just glue this here I'm going to try not to get too bogged down with what we're doing so I'm going to just try and go in and just glue things you know without kind of getting too too caught up in thinking oh you know does that look good there because as soon as I start overthinking it you know we're going to be here all day so Let's try not to overthink it. And of course it is difficult, isn't it? Because if you are an overthinker by nature, then, you know, you're an overthinker by nature, aren't you? So, you know, nothing's going to really change that. But I'm going to try, try my best not to. So let's just take that and glue that in there. Okay. Okie dokie. So, yeah, this obviously I, you know, I've left the border on because I was thinking, you know, we'll kind of like not cover it up. Well, yeah, cover it up, I suppose, afterwards. So, yeah, some of these have left the border on and then we'll, you know, we'll work with them and try and kind of, you know, put them in places so that the borders are then hidden like that, if you see what I mean. So, yeah. Okay. Right, let's use a bit of this pretty, pretty, um, you know, kitchen towel that we did the tutorial on. So, yeah. Oh, straight away I've gone into overthinking. What is wrong with me? I said I'm not going to overthink. Now, I just need to cut this edge off because the tissue's not quite stuck down everywhere. So that's all I'm doing there is just getting rid of that little edge. So, yeah. Okay, right. Just glue this one down here. Okay, dokie. And obviously, you know, this is going to be thickened up anyway. You know, once we've glued lots of sheets down some of these bits will, you know, will be thickened up anyway. You know where I said, oh, it's not not very thick because it's just copy paper. It might not really be too much of a problem anyway by the end because, you know, where it's overlapped and things like that, you know, we might find that actually, you know, we've sufficiently thickened it up anyway. So let's just glue this one down. Oops, some more of that tissue that's not very well stuck. Just move that over a bit like that, okay. Right. Right, just put this one here. So I hope everyone's having a good day, maybe doing some crafting, having a nice time. 
Oh, are you joining along with me? Are you also doing the X piles? Are you, you know, with your own craft space? If you are, how is it going? Is your um, is your mess going down at all? Because mine is not. Like I say, it's actually growing. You know, because as I'm as I'm filming it, I'm doing other videos. So yeah, it's actually got worse. But hey, I'm hoping that by the end, I'm hoping it will have will have gone down. Right. So I might take this one. I'm just going to cut that sort of image part off. And then I'm just going to cut that border like that. And just go across the top as well. Okay. Right. I might have to just get rid of that. Just because I want to kind of square this off really on the edge. So if I put that here, and then of course, you know, I can just trim this down afterwards, I think. So, and like I say, I'm really trying not to overthink this. Obviously, these are not bits that I would naturally have put together. Um, so I'm not trying to say that they go <laughs> or anything like that. Um, I'm just trying to, yeah, not overthink and just kind of, you know, put them down. And, you know, once we come to actually use these, we'll hopefully, you know, pull it all together anyway. So, yeah, if you're kind of thinking like me, oh my goodness, this does not look good because none of it's going. I'm hoping that actually, you know, further on, we're going to make it go. Okay. Here. Like that. Oops. Okay. Yeah, so I really um, you know, <laughs> hope that your piles are uh, diminishing. Like I say, mine are just awful. So you know, let me know what it is that you're making. Are you kind of, you know, I don't know, are you following along with the projects that we're doing? Are you are you doing your own thing? You know, how are you kind of tackling your your pile? So we kind of, you know, doing similar things. Or are you just, you know, doing your own thing? I would love to hear. Okay, and then just on that border, see how we're just getting rid of that border there again. So, yeah. Okay. And then I'm just going to put this one across here, I think. Just to fill that in. Okie dokie. So, I mean, these bits that we're making here, I mean, I don't know quite how this series is going to go, but what we'll probably do is we will end up with, you know, like a masterboard, a half-finished folio that we've obviously already started and things like that. And then we'll probably have to come back in another, you know, video or, you know, possibly even series, oops, series to finish up all the things that we have made. Um, just because, yeah, it's probably unrealistic to think that I'm going to actually you know, make all these things and get them completed, um, you know, within kind of like seven days. So, yeah, we'll probably have to kind of like come back and then, you know, finish the things kind of individually, I'm thinking. I hadn't really kind of given it much thought, but yeah, just kind of looking at this, I'm like, Ooh, maybe what is going to be best is, you know, make the foundation pieces and then, you know, we'll finish the series to, you know, to clear the desk a little bit and then we can come back and do some finishing off of projects. You know, maybe that would be the best way to do this. Okay, I'll just trim this down and get this looking a bit straighter. 
because that piece is not very straight so I'd quite like to go into that edge if I can to cover this up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just really, I thought this would be a good one to, um, you know, get quite a bit of it gone from the desk. Mm -hmm. That large piece that I said, oh, I don't really want that lady showing. So, yeah, I might, I might go for this. Let's just take this off here. Liking that, okay. Okay, dokie. And obviously, like I say, I mean, I'm going to obviously trim this around the edge. So if you're kind of thinking again, oh wow, that looks terrible, we'll trim this around the edge so it's kind of like squared off. I mean, yeah, it's not. You know, I'm not making the best job of doing this at, at the moment, but hopefully we'll be able to kind of square it up and um, make it look a bit better. So let's put those down. Oops, just going to have a sip of my tea. Right, finish that off now. Uh, just wondering whether I could even have this here and then like I say this will be trimmed across so yeah just thinking I could just have that as like an edge piece Do have a little bit here still to fill in so i'll have to fill that in as well that's fine okay uh, yeah let's take that one yeah i actually can't remember what i was thinking i was going to be doing with these um prints but yeah no doubt it will suddenly come to me now and i'm going to have to then reprint stuff so crazy I've had them printed off for ages not used them and now the second that I have used them no doubt it will suddenly come back to me what I was planning I know I say it all the time but I think that's the problem with you know crafting generally um you know junk journaling and any crafts is there's just so many fun things to do that actually it's just fitting in everything that you want to do isn't it and um yeah, there's just never enough time to do all the different projects that you would like to try. Okay. So, yeah, I might have this one here, I think. I can just trim that edge down. I mean, it's not very straight, but it's okay, that. So, yeah, put that one down. Oh, it's just getting light now, so, um, yeah. Hopefully the light will improve. You know, if you're watching this and finding it a bit dark, it will hopefully improve a bit now. Okay. That one. Oops, sorry about that. My, my ring made that noise. Just cutting some of that yellow off. Um, yeah. Don't overly like the yellow on there and I don't really feel like it goes on the on here anyway so I'm just going to tear that off um so yeah just getting rid of getting rid of the yellow bits okay have that up there I think oops 
put the glue on the wrong edge. Yeah, obviously it didn't need to be on that edge because that's just glued to nothing. So yeah, wrong edge. Oh, well, right. Okay. Like that. Wondering whether I can just take this down much narrower. Just have to get rid of that lady. And just get rid of that top and the bottom. And we can just have this one on here, I think. I want that on there. And we could even have it here, actually. That's quite nice. It the other way around this is going to be now a very long piece um yep i hadn't really kind of planned the shape but yep it turns out it's it's going to just be a long sort of piece across the top which is actually making the actual piece we're making a very long piece which yeah i hadn't obviously planned on that either but that's fine it's going to hopefully you know be fine too so, right, let's just put this one down here. Okay. okay. Yeah, I mean, it's actually flabbergasting how much stuff, you know, has accumulated on here, actually in such a short space of time. Um, you know, because, like I say, most of this stuff is actually, like, reaccumulated since starting this series which you know yeah it's it's not great is it that it's already accumulated like this on mass okay i've not had breakfast either so i do apologize i know i say all the time but honestly for me having no breakfast makes such a huge difference like but it was just too early. I didn't want to eat breakfast, you know, so early in the morning. So, um, yeah, I do apologise because it always does make such a big difference to, well, just my ability to function generally, I think. So, yeah, I do apologise for that. Okay, right. So I'd want to fill in, obviously, this space here, which is now looking, you know, a bit, a bit rubbish. So I think we'll just put it like that. Oh, I actually have got this one. Perhaps that's better. Let me just cut this down a bit neater. Okay. Let's just see. Yeah, so this is kind of like a snippet roll now because it's got quite long. So we've got like a sort of, yeah, massively wide snippet roll thing going on wasn't really kind of how I planned it but it's just um yeah that's just the shape it's taken on so and that's fine I don't mind it you know being long like that but I just mean it wasn't wasn't kind of part of my original plan not that I had an original plan full stop actually if I'm truthful but yeah definitely didn't have have a plan for it being a long thin sliver so these little scraps that I've got here I might as well just kind of incorporate because um you know it then gets them off the desk as well so hopefully this is still in frame so I'm just going to glue this one down here okay like that and then, yeah, I will obviously, you know, trim around the edge of the entire thing. So this one here might just cut into half. Just tidy it up a little bit. Okay. Like that. And yeah, should we have that somewhere? Maybe something like that, or maybe even here. Oh, why am I now overthinking this? It's not worth overthinking, is it? Don't know why I've even 
done that and gone into overthinking, but yeah, just kind of um, just happened. Right, okay, so we've got that one. I wipe again. Okay, and just trim down this edge now. Just tidy this piece up. Okay, so should we, yeah, should we have this one here or something? So, I mean, again, as you can see, you know, did not plan any of these papers together. And I definitely, not in a million years, would have put any of these papers together. But actually, I'm really liking how they look now. You know, they actually look really good, don't they, together? So, yeah, the colours, you know, they're actually kind of, yeah, looking quite nice. So, that is our huge, wide snippet roll thing, book page collage. So, I'm just going to put that to one side obviously leave that to dry so yep I've just kind of flung it on the floor there right so what else have I got here got some other papers right now I'm going to take first of all papers that are not double-sided so any others that I've got that aren't aren't double-sided or that that is double-sided actually that was a masterboard piece uh what's all of this stuff as you see a lot of these papers I've got here you know ready for like a mass making session and things um yeah, that I've actually printed off ready for mass making sessions. Oh, I've got some here that are just prints that need, you know, double side printing. So actually I'm going to take these off and double side print, print these. So they're not even, you know, not even kind of a, an on my desk item anymore. They've gone because they just need to be, yeah, printed on the other side. Right, let me pull in some more, some more things. Oh, honestly, I mean, this pile is like never ending and quite shocking when I'm, you know, pulling bits about. And it's actually quite shocking how much stuff is actually there. Oh, that obviously had, yeah, just been, you know, completely forgotten about. So, oh gosh, all sorts of stuff here. Right. I mean, I've got a decorative edge strip, kind of partially done. Got a lamp post there. Got this. Okay, right. So should we do? Um, yeah, I'm thinking. Should we do another collage master board, but with the much thicker pieces now? So again, just going to take these bits. So anything that's slightly thicker, I'm going to pull in for this. Oops. And again, just really going to mix things up. So not using at all anything that I would generally put together normally. So I'm going to use this. This is from the Victorian Gallery kit. I'm going to put it with this from the Pink Ladies kit. So again, would not normally put those things together. But yeah, you know, because I really liked that eclectic mix of stuff on the last one so yeah let's just see if we can make some really gorgeous bits with this so I've got this one which is um one of my postcard printables but again it's printed on quite thickish um you know paper slash card so you know if we're now doing a thick one that's just kind of in keeping really so let's just see what else I've got here uh -huh. Right, I've got this. Now this is, again, this is more of that tissue that my daughter obviously did the tutorial on, but this has been glued down onto food coloured page. So I'm kind of thinking, well, actually we could probably incorporate some of this into our whole page master board, you know, because again, it's, it's thicker. So I can, yeah, include that. Let's just see what else have I got here. Oh, honestly, it's just terrible. So I'm just, you know, using the bits that are kind of like scraps, if you see what I mean. So we've got this. This is from the, I think it's the Opulent Teal um, kit. So, yeah, that one's nice. Oops, got some other sheets here, which actually are double-sided. So I'm, I'm not using double-sided pieces because that seems a little bit, you know, extravagant. So actually I can put them under my desk for other other mass making and you know things like that because they're always really handy to have for mass making sessions you know double-sided pieces right got single-sided pieces here 
could pull those in. Let me just see if I've got any others that are, you know, thickish bits, single side printed that are more scraps now. No, that's a whole sheet. Oops, what's this one? Well, okay, well, I could incorporate this. So, obviously, this was a um, test print on the printer, but yeah, I can definitely incorporate these little bits here this is from the marvelous men kit um but i mean obviously i couldn't really use that envelope now because of course the reverse is the you know the print alignment page so yeah let's just put in these bits instead okay like that okay and then I'm just going to keep these to one side because we might want to use those for something else. All right, let's just see. Do we have anything else on here? No. Again, still just looking for, you know, anything thickish rather than anything on thin, thin paper. So thickish. Okay, here's a thickish piece. That's a scrap. Right, okay, so we've got quite a few bits here. Um, we'll just see how we get on. It might just be that this will be a smaller, you know, smaller collage masterboard. We'll see, see how it goes. So, right, just going to again, try not to overthink this, which obviously, you know, I do struggle with not overthinking, but let's just go for it. So, yeah, put this one down onto here. Okay. And when I say it's going to end up smaller, I mean, to be honest, even if it ended up, um, you know, like, say, 12 by 12, it would be like a 12 by 12 page from a scrapbook page. And actually, you know, why do I think that's so small? Because I don't look at a 12 by 12 page and think, oh, that's tiny, you know, I can't possibly use that. I, th I think that's a, you know, a good sized piece of paper. So I don't know why I suddenly straight away think, oh, that's a bit small to use. You know, because like I said, I wouldn't think that generally you know, about a 12 by 12 sheet, would I? So why do I think that about this? I'm not sure. Right. So, I mean, hopefully by the end here, you know, we will have got rid of quite a few of these bits of paper and, you know, the other bits of paper that we did just now. So that would be quite a good, you know, a good kind of like change from what the desk looked like although to be honest I'm looking at it right now and thinking who am I kidding it doesn't look any different what am I talking about I mean if anything it kind of looks worse because I've obviously disrupted the pile now when I was rummaging through you know it's it's just disrupted it so what was looking reasonably organized is now just looking even worse but I think I've said this before I mean sometimes I think with tidying up you know you've got to go through the the bad to get to the good if you know what I mean you know you've got to sometimes it's got to get worse before it actually starts to improve so um yeah I'm just going to tell myself that anyway let's just have a bit of this purple here okay isn't that just such a gorgeous color Absolutely love that colour. Right. Thinking, yeah, should we sort of extend it like that? Again, just going to tidy this edge up a little bit. And tidy that piece up, okay. Right, so yeah, going to put this down here. Actually, I'm going to put it that way. Mm -hmm. like that. and then yeah I've made this slightly longer so that hopefully we're kind of making this a bit more like I said like a more like a 12 by 12 sheet rather than the long narrow masterboard that we just made this will hopefully be you know a um yeah, more like a 12 by 12 kind of sheet. And I'm not saying it's definitely going to be 12 by 12. That's just kind of like off the top of my head. 
a comparison. You know, I'm not saying that's the size it's going to be, but that was just, you know, what sprang to mind was I thought, well, it will be similar, similar to a 12 by 12. Right, I need some link for in here. Maybe, maybe even the postcard would just be fine there. Okay. So obviously it's like partially over that butterfly. Hmm. Yeah, I need it that way around. Okay, yeah, quite like that. So, right, let's put this opulent teal piece down. Okie dokie. Right. Okay, and then this one we are going to have, yeah, like that. Oops. So yeah, this needs to go kind of like glued, glued across there. That's the only thing with doing these collage masterboards, the whole page ones, you know, you kind of have to focus a little bit and concentrate on, you know, what needs to be glued to where. Otherwise you kind of put the glue line on only to find that actually your glue's like, you know, nowhere near in the right place. I mean, I think there, for instance, I've just glued it onto the table, where of course it didn't really need to be glued onto the table at all. Well, I mean, I'm not sure it ever needs to be glued onto the table, does it? I mean, that's just not a, not a thing really, but right, let's bring this over. So this needs to come in line with roughly here. So yeah, just bring that over like that and then this piece here just going to have popped onto there and then of course I'm going to you know again cut around the edge to square it off so I'm going to actually I'm going to do this okay right so yeah a bit of glue here around all of these edge pieces and then glue here around those three edge pieces okay so yeah as you can see I mean that just needs taking out or taking down slightly on that edge but you know that's fine so yeah we've got very different looking collage masterboard there love how this one's looking absolutely gorgeous now I've just got this little piece here so I mean we could even have that somewhere do we want to do that just to kind of like get rid of it? Oh, we could do, couldn't we? So yeah, let's just put this down. Okie dokie. Yeah, just put that on there. It's a bit funny how, you know, these colours actually do go together quite nicely. You know, colours that I would never in a million years have put together and actually they're working really nicely now. Or, yeah, really, really nicely, not so, not saying so now, but, you know, really nicely considering that, you know, I hadn't really kind of planned them in this way. You know, they've just been laying around on the desk, but yeah, things that would never ever occur to me to put together are actually going really quite well. So it goes to show, doesn't it? goes to show what you can actually make work you know when you put them in together right okay so that's that one love how that looks isn't that just the most scrummy masterboard ever I mean oh I need to um shake up my collage to be honest and maybe this is going to kind of like give me the confidence to do that because just putting these really weird eclectic mixed things together is um yeah, kind of like really fun. Right, so we've done those. Now, the next things that I've got laying around is I've seen to have loads of collage masterboards here. Now, again, these are all here from other projects that I have done. So things that I've been doing, obviously, in other videos and things. So, you know, we've just got, yeah, like remnants, remnants of collage masterboards, which again, they were completely buried. Didn't even know they were there until just now when I then moved everything and then they kind of like dropped in. Um... So, shall we try and do do some bits? I'm just still having a look. Got like snippet rolls and oh my goodness, 
I mean, this is so long overdue, this um, x pile series, you know, it's going to take ages. I'm dreading, dread to think how many episodes we're going to end up having to have, really, to actually get through this. But anyway, let's just, um, let's just see how we get on for this, this episode before I go on and on about, you know, how many episodes we're going to have. So, right, we've got our collage masterboards. I've got these snippet rolls and things there. So this, absolutely love this. We could just make this into a journal card. So I'm thinking, um, yeah, should we just make some journal cards and some pockets and things like that from these? Just because, you know, this will be nice and quick and easy to do. So let's take the ones that have been partially cut down first because these are whole page collage masterboards you know, which haven't been touched so far, which to be honest, I mean, I could even just put these back in their place in my little organiser. So that gets those off of the desk. So if we just work with these ones, that's already, you know, kind of clearing the desk, if you see what I mean. So let's cut these down. So let's just cut, cut these down so that I've got a few to be working on. So yeah. Okay, so like I say, we can make these into either pockets or, you know, or journal cards. Either would be fine. Um, yep. Okay, let's just put them laid out. Now, obviously, because, you know, I'm trying to get through these bits reasonably quickly to clear my desk. So I'm just thinking, use some of those clustery pieces, you know, the snippet roll pieces and things that we just spotted. Because that's going to get these done and dusted very quickly now just before I do that I've got obviously those marvelous men labels so on this one for instance now this I think is nice already as just a journal card so just going to trim it up here down the edge this was that lovely um, collage masterboard that we did where we applied the uh, glossy accents on there but I love that just exactly how it is. But I'm thinking, again, you know, with the whole getting things off of the desk, if I pull in these tickets, then that will get the tickets off of the desk as well, which of course is then, you know, good. Because we're getting more things, more things gone. Right, okay. Move that. Yeah, I mean, I just think even, you know, I mean, actually that ticket looks pretty good anywhere. Doesn't, you know, doesn't look bad wherever I put it, to be honest. So, yeah, I think kind of have it here. Again, just going to just glue that down and then I'm just going to cut it, you know, where I've placed it. So, I'm just putting it down half the ticket. Again, if you watch my channel, you'll know how boring I am because I do half a ticket, half a label, you know, all those kinds of things all the time. So, yeah, a creature of habit, definitely. Okay, right, let's just snip that down. Oops. So we could have this as a journal card. The only thing is I would obviously need to paint the back um you know gesso or paint or something so that it's you know writable because obviously at the moment it's you know it's book page on the back so i think based on that i'm going to just add a little bit of lace and we'll just have this like a pocket so i'm just going to put a little bit of lace up here mm. yeah i'm just going to put it here like that okay just take that down and again just you know using lace scraps that are kind of laying around on the desk already well I've got a couple of wax seals here oh they're not the right color are they I thought oh they might just be the right color I mean maybe I could cut that blue off of there I'm not very good when it cut it comes to um cutting the wax seals and kind of make a bit of a bit of a mess of them quite often but mm. oh, 
it's not really quite right, is it? Uh, right, let's have a look, have a look, have a look, see see whether I can see anything else, you know, just laying around. I mean, we could have that up there. I wonder if, if I, if, if, no, I wonder if I ink that. Maybe some of this brown stays on. That's a bit better, isn't it? Like that. Yeah, I quite like how that looks now. And then we could even have... What else could we have on there? Mm. Again, just you know, stuff laying around. Oh, is that a bit weird? You know, I just I don't know whether that wax seal really is quite right in there. Let's just put the bling on. So the bling again just <laughs> was laying around on the desk. Might as well use it. Oops, might as well use it. Um, do we want another bit of lace anywhere? Could just finish it off with a bit of lace down the bottom, actually. It looks quite pretty, doesn't it? So, yeah, can never have enough lace. Plus, obviously, gets that off of my desk as well. So, right, just going to trim this down. And I might just trim it down a bit here as well in the, the length there. Okay. Oh, how gorgeous does that look? Love how that looks. I don't think it needs the wax seal, so I'm going to, yeah, not have the wax seal. But, yeah, very, very easily finished off. So, love how that looks. Right, okay, let's put in the others. So, let's just line them up. Right. So, I've got these snippet roll pieces here. Now, I'm not saying that any of these are quite right. I mean, that's not too bad. Just tear this down. So, this was one of my first snippet rolls, I think, that I ever, ever made. Um, it's very, very large, this one, which is fine, you know, but yeah, probably just I've made them slightly smaller recently, but, you know, no, no right or wrong, I think, you know, they're, they're good either way, but just from a usability point, this is perhaps a bit large for this, this pocket now, just going to get rid of this, this here. Okay, so I might just ink this up a little bit, I think. Do you want to? I don't know if I can see my ink pad, I will anyway. Can I see it? Of course I can't. Oh, I have got these little flowers. So I bought these the other day from the range. And again, why I haven't hung them up is beyond me. You know, they shouldn't even be laying around on my desk. But yeah, they are. So, hey, if they're laying around, then... They're fair game as far as I'm concerned. So just take one of those. Right, I'm just going to hang this up. So that's that's gone from my desk now. Not saying I won't pull it in again, but yeah, it's at least one less thing. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Let's just move that. Uh now what did I do? Let's just take this label. Yeah, it's quite, um, you know, daylight now. So, yep, hopefully, hopefully it's all much improved with regards to the vision now. And you can fully see everything properly. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Now, what's happened to my ink pad? Oh, that's annoying. Can't see it anywhere. And obviously, as soon as I switch the video off, it will instantly... You know, appear as if by magic, but mm. oh, I'm so sorry if you can hear the doggy, the doggy there just breathing. So, I'm filming this obviously while we still got the dog. Now, I'm saying that and putting that out there because obviously, at the moment, we're just kind of trying her out. So, just in case for any reason we don't end up keeping her, I'm just kind of putting it out there that she's currently, you know, she's currently with us. 
so yeah she's in my in my craft room being a super good girl in her bed so she was just snoring there a little bit right okay so well that's really nice isn't it so i might just have that kind of on there like that so again just going to put this down here on the bottom this colour lace is so gorgeous, isn't it? And um, yeah, it's one of those colours that, you know, I wouldn't have necessarily chosen, but it actually looks brilliant everywhere. You know, there's very little that it doesn't work with. I mean, I don't know what colour I would really describe it as, maybe rust or something. But yeah, everywhere you put it, it just looks amazing. So absolutely just love it. Really, really love it. Now, do we want that flower on there or do we want to ink that flower? So let's just see how it looks if it's a bit discoloured. Oops. Oh, yeah. Better inked, isn't it? So, pop that down there like that. Oops. Yeah, loving how that looks. And then I'll just ink around the edge a little bit. Luckily, my ink pad had you know, had some ink still on there. So, yeah, even though I couldn't find my ink, it's luckily, you know, it's okay. Uh, right, let me just see if I've got any more bling anywhere. Obvious. Right, not see any right now. Mm. Right. Here we go. Oh, yeah, just a tiny bit. I knew that I would have some floating around somewhere. So, yeah, should we just have a bit of bling maybe there? Okie dokie. Oh, how gorgeous is that? So, yeah, just going to put that to one side. Okay, let's do this purple one. So, again, I just then saw I've got some lilac lace here this might be going to be a bit too much lilac so yeah I might kind of um, change my mind from the lilac but at the moment I'm kind of thinking oh, let's try let's try with the lilac and see how that looks got this little cluster that's quite pretty and delicate it might be a bit too delicate you know it might not have enough um you know, enough oomph about, about it. Maybe it looks quite good on there, to be honest. It's funny, isn't it? But some, sometimes, you know, the things that you kind of expect to look really good actually end up, you know, not looking as good. And, uh, you know, things that you would never dream of putting together ordinarily suddenly look really, really great. Oh got a load of bling here so yep I don't need to worry anymore that we're going to be short of, oh short of bling what's happened there oh, I don't know what happened there okay so we could have it like that it's quite pretty isn't it um just wondering whether I need anything else lilac -y. oh I've got that um, decorative edge strip actually. Oh, 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 oh! Bit of a bit of a U-turn here. So, yep. Sorry about this. Just suddenly remembered about that edge strip and thought, actually, I'm just going to try this here. Can't help but think maybe this is nicer. Yeah, really liking how this is. So, just going to take that lilac lace down. Okay, right, so let's just pop that down there with a bit of hot glue. Okay, oops. And then just going to have that cluster there. Oh, how gorgeous is that? Yep, love how that looks. Now I'm just going to try one of those little daisies. Maybe a bit ginormous on there. 
I thought it would look pretty, but actually this is kind of a bit too delicate for that. So yeah, it was looking a bit, a bit monstrous there. So let's just pop a bit of, a bit of ink around on here. Oh, it's not so juicy now. I uh, have obviously got all of the last bits of juiciness out of here. So yeah, let's just see. Oh, I think just finish that off with a little bit of bling. Bling just really kind of improves everything, doesn't it? So yeah. Okay. Oh, how pretty does that look? Love how that looks. Yummy, yummy. All right. Okay. Right. Really, really lovely. Let me just see what the time is. Oh, my goodness. It's 55 minutes. Oh, I can't believe it. 55 minutes. So that might be all that we're going to get done today. So let me just run through what we've achieved. <laughs> Not a lot. No, we've achieved more than, more than I thought, actually, because... I'm going to put these, you know, whole page collage masterboards up in the organiser. I've obviously got rid of a few pages onto, um, you know, the pile ready for mass makings. We've done this collage masterboard. We've done this skinny, skinny collage masterboard. We've obviously, you know, finished off this decorative edge strip. And we've obviously done a couple of pockets. So, you know, although at first I thought, oh, I don't think we've achieved a lot. Actually, I think we've done quite a bit um in that hour so yep i think we've made a bit of progress the desk looks no different but but we have got a few things that we've made so yeah i hope that you um feel inspired and yep i will see you guys tomorrow so have fun if you're clearing your desk off and thank you so much for watching see you guys tomorrow bye